there everybody it is Tegan here again today and I know I have been posting videos pretty much every single day this week for the past couple of days and I've been absolutely loving it I've had a lot of time to film and I've been really excited to be filming and so yeah I've just been wanting to film a lot and put up a lot of videos for you guys so I just got home from work and I had a little bit of time before the sun went completely down. I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark in here or for this video, but I just wanted to film some. So yeah, today I am going to be doing a bookish type video. It's going to be a book tag and I wasn't tagged by anybody to do this tag. I just really wanted to do it. So I'm going to be doing it. And that tag is the how I read tag. Now I know that there's a couple of different versions of this tag going around. I'm just doing the one that Thoughts on Tomes did because that was the first one that popped up when I searched the tag. And so yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna be doing that one. There are eight questions to this tag and I've got them all, well you can't really see that, but I've got them all on my phone. So yeah, I'm just gonna get pretty much right into it. Question number one is, how do you find new books to read? And there are a couple of different places that I find new books to read, but most of the time it's through booktube. I watch a lot of booktube, and so that's pretty much where I find out new books. But then sometimes it can be through blogs or Twitter or Instagram, because I uh, do use Bookstagram a lot, or on Goodreads. So, there are a lot of different places, but most of the time it's through booktube, and normally it's through channels like Catastic or Pull and Bananas Books. They're two of the main people that I watch, and so yeah. Question number two is how did you get into reading? And I started reading at a really super young age. And it sort of just blossomed from there. I was reading in preschool and kindergarten and my parents used to read to me when I was little. But I really, I've been really into reading all of my life. I've been really into writing and reading. And yeah, I mean there's not really a specific time in my life where I can just remember really getting into reading. I think I started collecting books only about two years ago or so, and I mean, my collection's gotten pretty good. I used to borrow a lot of books from the library, but I've sort of stopped doing that. Yeah, there's not really a specific time of, or when I started reading, but yeah, <laughs> that, that's all I can really say about that. Question number three is how has your taste in books changed as you have gotten older? And it hasn't, it's it's obviously changed. Like I went from reading really little children's books to now reading young adult books, but I still read, I used to read fantasy and I still read fantasy. I used to read mystery and I still read mystery. I used to read books like The Kazoo, uh, The Boxcart Children books, Cam Jansen, Junie B. Jones, Nancy Drew, The 39 Clues, just all of those type of books I used to read when I was little and now I read books like Harry Potter and I read a lot of contemporaries which I used to read as well but I used, obviously I used to read like I've always really liked books that revolve around real stuff and so I used to read that and I still read that now and then I also still read fantasy and mystery and yeah it obviously my taste is different from when I was little to now because I used to read little children's books and now I read young adult but the types of books that I read hasn't changed very much the genres hasn't changed very much question number four is how often do you buy books and this changes every month I mean one month I could buy ten books and another month I could only buy one or two books it really just depends on what books I want to read at that moment and where I am because because if I like walk into the mall then 
I have to walk into the bookstore and buy at least one book. And most of the books that I buy are through Book Depository, and so I buy a lot of books on there. I've actually bought a lot of books in the last couple months. I've bought a lot of, a lot more books since I started watching BookTube. But yeah, I guess it normally it's to between like two and five books a month, I'd like to say, which isn't that much for a lot of other booktubers. But yeah, probably between like two to five uh, books a month. Question number five is how did you get into booktubing? And I have mentioned this before, but I watched a whole lot of booktube, like so much, and I always loved watching it. And I ended up starting a blog, and I loved writing on that blog, but I just kept watching booktubers and I just loved watching them. And so, yeah, I just decided to start booktubing and I have loved it ever since I started. Question number six is how do you react when you don't like the ending to a book? Oh, I mean, there's different types of not liking the endings to books. Like, there's not liking the ending because somebody has died that you really didn't want to die. And then there's just times where it's a really disappointing ending. And if somebody has died, it's not, normally it's not that I don't like the ending, it's just that I'm really depressed after it and so I sort of just go into a mourning period for a couple of days. If I was just really disappointed in the ending of a book, sometimes I, can, I just get into sort of a time where I just can't read anything because I'm just so disappointed. And yeah, it really just depends on how much the book disappointed me because if it was really disappointing then sometimes I just stop reading for a little bit. If it wasn't that disappointing then normally I could just pick up another book and that'll cheer me right up. So yeah. Question number seven is how often do you take a sneak peek to the end of the book to see if it has a happy ending? And the answer to this is zero. I can't stand spoilers. They're my least favorite thing and so I no. I sometimes don't even go to the back of the book to see how many pages there are because I'm worried that I will spoil myself for the book. So yeah, I don't really ever do this at all. I know people that do, like I have friends that'll go to the back of the book and read the last couple pages and I'm like, why Why would you just want to ruin the book for yourself? Because there's not going to be any surprises that way. So yeah, I just never go to the end of the book. The last question of this tag is question number eight, and that is, who do you tag? And I tag three people. One is Read by Grace, two is Reading Rejects, and three is Cole's Reading Corner. I'd love to see you guys do it. If you do, I'd love to watch your videos. And if any of you guys want to do this tag, then feel free to do so. You have been tagged by me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was my first tag and I love doing it. I will be filming one or two more of these today, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching it because there will be more coming. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below and let me know what you guys are reading right now. I am currently reading Zeros by three different authors, which I can't remember right now, but I'm really enjoying it, so let me know what you guys are reading currently and subscribe if you want to be told when I make a new video. I'm Tegan, this is Bookwormia, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hello there everybody, it is Tegan here again today, and yes, 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 I'm just going to say this at the start of every single video I film today. This is probably going to be